environment. I'm currently in the Maldives. It's actually my last full day before I head home. Um, although by the time you see this video, it's going to be a little while since I've come back. Every time I travel, well a lot of the time I travel, I always feel like going through my travel makeup or my travel skincare or something like that. And I feel like I've done that a lot now. So I thought of something a little bit different. On this trip, one thing I'd note, I actually didn't even think I was going to film this video. And then I just thought by the end of it, I was like, actually, it might be interesting for some people. Um, for those who don't know, I suffer from dry skin and I have some pretty bad eczema. I don't know if you guys can see, I have a particularly bad patch going on here. I usually have some on my face, but it's um, calmed down quite a bit. Hopefully, thanks to a few things I've been doing. My arm, not so much. Just because it's so sunny and I constantly have to keep putting sunscreen on it and everything. So it's just like, uh, unhappy. Hopefully when I go home, I can fix it up. Ah, oh, Toby, there's a spider! <laughs> when did you notice? I just turned this way and looked at my products and I saw something move and I was like, what is that? <laughs> so I thought I would go through some of the products I brought with me specifically for skin hydration and what I think has been working well for me. Just so you know, I'm not a skin doctor, a dermatologist or anything like that, so I have no idea if these things will work for everyone else. I feel like I need to mention these two products first because you can't actually purchase this over the counter. You actually do need a prescription from your doctor. These are kind of like pretty essential if you do suffer from eczema. Um, and you visit your doctor, your doctor is likely going to prescribe to you some ointments that you can use and I don't use these too often just because they do have, they can have a negative effect and damage your skin in the long term. So I try to use these sparingly, but I feel like this video would be a little misleading if I didn't say that I was using these products as well to some degree. So the smaller tube is actually for much, um, uh, usually if you have eczema around your body because it's a little bit stronger than this one I usually use this for especially my arm or my, I used to have eczema around my neck so this is great for that and then the other one I have is called Sigma Court ointment this one is more for use around your face because the skin around your face is much more sensitive and delicate and you can use this up to three times a day and then only for a few days and then you've got to stop because what it does and I don't know if this does it too, but what I think it's essentially doing is it's breaking down your skin faster so that you, so your skin does renew, so it gets rid of all the dry skin. Um, but obviously if you do that for too long, you're going to end up with really thin, damaged skin. So doctors recommend you don't use them too much, but I do use them. So if you do suffer from eczema, I reckon one of the first things you need to do is go see your doctor because they'll be able to give you stuff like this that can really help. Because you can't use this all the time, but I have eczema pretty much all the time, there are other things I try to use to help counter it. One of the best things I've found, which was through one of my friends at work, is um, Demi's ointment. This is, I think, only available in Australia, I'm not sure. It is essentially the style of an ointment, so it's, it feels exactly like this, only it has no, like, medicinal qualities to it and you can use it as much as you like and it helps reduce itchiness as well so I pretty much bathe myself in this whenever I feel an itch coming on when my skin is dry I apply this religiously I don't think it cures eczema but it really helps keep it at bay for, and it really helps reduce itchiness but no I love this it's like ride or die and it's so cheap I think a bottle like this is like six or seven dollars and you can get like a massive tub I don't know how much, but you can get huge tubs of this, so highly recommended. It is specifically designed for people who suffer from like eczema or dermatitis or paresis or any of that. Some of the other serums I've been using um, were the Bioderma Hydrobo Reach. Rich? Rich? Let's say Rich. This is my nighttime moisturizer, and I feel like it's so good at soothing the skin. My skin's just a lot more softer, and I feel like all the dry patches have sort of subsided to some degree, so I love this. Um, I also have this serum from Bobbi Brown Remedies. I think I featured this in a blog post not too long ago. Um, the thing I like about this is that it dries very, very quickly. In, in terms of, like, I think it absorbs very quickly to the skin and then it's like to the touch, your skin just feels very normal. So this is really good for during the day. I would probably wouldn't use this at night. It does say intense hydration, but it doesn't feel overly hydrating. But um, I know that during the day, especially if you want to wear makeup, when you go out, you don't want to be a grease ball then this is something you could use instead to help give you that little boost of hydration without the greasiness. Just keep in mind this is super, super greasy. When you have dry skin, um, you start to really love the greasy feeling. At least I do at night especially. My daytime moisturizer is this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. 
It is meant for dry to very dry skin. I use this every single day anyways as it is it's part of my everyday skincare routine. But I really can feel the difference on days when I don't use this. When my skin does feel a little more tighter and drier. So I do recommend this as a daytime moisturizer. And it's great for under makeup too. So I'm going to get on to masks. I feel like masks make a big difference for me. Um, one of my favorite masks to use, which I've already used up on this trip, so I can't actually show it to you, but I'll pop a picture somewhere around here. And I don't remember how to say it. it's like aqua something. It's a Korean mask. Some of the stuff I feel is a bit too strong for me, but this particular one is so good. I put it on at night. Um, it has a really gel-like consistency. I leave it on for about 30 minutes. I think the recommendation is usually around 15, 20, but I always leave it on a little longer just because I do have dry skin. Pat it into my skin. Don't put moisturizer on top. I just go to sleep, wake up. Oh my gosh, my skin feels so good. The bad side is masks like these are not cheap, so you can't use them every single day. At least I can't afford to use them every single day. So I usually use them once in a while when my skin's not feeling great or when I come on holiday. Because every time I travel, my skin, that's, especially with the airplane and how dry the air is, my skin just uh, reacts really badly. So, yeah. So I really recommend that mask if you can get your hand on it. I love it so much. Um, I also have... These masks here, it's exactly the same. This is just a little cheaper because you can buy kind of like a pack of them or you can buy them individual. These are just for under eye. If you don't want to be using one of those expensive masks every single day, something like this is really nice to use daily because it's affordable to use daily. I think you get like 15 uses out of this little pack and you just pull two out, put them on, leave them on for about 10, 15 minutes and it just helps really hydrate your under eyes. So that's really great. But two other masks that I think will be easier to get will be this one from Glam Glow, this purple one, Thirsty Mud, and this one from Peter Thomas Roth, the Cucumber Gel Mask. So this one I find super hydrating, really, really great to use. Um, it has a bit of a coconut smell to it. And if you have skin around a similar tone to me then it looks like you have a bit of a tan going on because it does have a little bit of a browner consistency to it here but i feel like when you wipe it off at the end or wash it off it just feels your skin feels really hydrated and even though your skin does feel quite dry like dry to the touch not dry as in like flaky or anything but dry to the touch you can go a few good hours without putting on any moisturizer afterwards like your skin just feels like it can be normal like is this what normal skin feels like that i like without the greasiness, I don't feel dried out and yet I don't feel greasy. Like it feels great. So I love it for that. Um, and then the other one I like is the Peter Thomas Roth in the Cucumber Gel Mask. This is just a little travel version. These are all little travel versions. But what I really like about this is how soothing it is. So if you have any itchiness on your face or anything like that, apply this. It just kind of cools everything down and it eases up on the itchiness. I have, I don't know how hydrating this is in the end because I do feel like I need to put moisturizer on afterwards or at least a serum on afterwards, but it just makes my skin feel so good. So I recommend if you want putting this in the fridge so it is nice and cool and then just applying it on and leave it on for about 10, 20, 10 15 minutes or however long you want, not too long, maybe, I don't know. And then you just either wash it off or wipe it off with a damp cloth feels so good. Those are all my recommendations for traveling if you have dry skin. This is the stuff that's helped me get through this trip so I'm not like just trying to claw up my face the entire trip. And I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from Maldives. Back to the internet.